telescopes scan the skies for signals, including those from potential civilizations or starships. From nearby constellations to distant cosmos, strange signals have emerged. A massive deep space object is now transmitting unique signals to Earth, sparking suspicions of alien origins, even gaining attention from Elon Musk. This video delves into the nature of these signals and why astronomers believe they might signify extraterrestrial life. NASA's core mission includes seeking extraterrestrial life, with programs like exoplanet exploration and astrobiology studies. Collaborating with agencies and governments, NASA invests in telescopes and alert systems. Using a radio telescope, astronomers detected a signal from the Proxima Centauri star system leaked to the public despite secrecy attempts. Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our sun, is small and unseen by the naked eye. Discovered in 1915, it emits solar flares and is observable only through a telescope. Scientists at Australia's Cryo Parks Radio Telescope observed Proxima Centauri for unusual flares, given its age. During this research, they unexpectedly detected a unique signal later identified by NASA through the $100 million Breakthrough Listen project. Launched in 2015 and led by Andrew Simeon from UC Berkeley, Breakthrough Listen aims to spot extraterrestrial life by analyzing radio telescopes worldwide for unusual signals. The Proxima Centauri signal, with the distinctive techno signature, was picked up at 982 megahertz, unrelated to human transmissions. Funded by tech billionaires like Yuri Milner, Breakthrough Listen employs advanced facilities globally, making it a top program for extraterrestrial life discovery. The Cryo Parks Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia, captured the Proxima Centauri signal while monitoring the star system's surroundings, collecting substantial data. Radio telescopes receive signals from various sources, leading astronomers to filter through around 4 million signals per cycle specifically seeking extraterrestrial ones. Scientists focus on narrow broadband and frequency drift as indicators. Filtering led to 5,000 distinct signals, narrowed to a single techno signal with very narrow broadband. This signal correlated with the telescope's alignment toward Proxima Centauri. The discovery of such signals is thrilling. Jason Wright, an astronomer at Penn State University, explains that signals not from Earth's surface indicate extraterrestrial technology. Uncovering such signals from a vast star system like Proxima is captivating. Scientists speculate that the signals might originate from extraterrestrials on Proxima's planets. Surviving on Proxima might seem improbable due to its sun-like temperatures and radiation. However, scientists believe these beings inhabit its planets instead. Proxima Centauri has three planets, Centauri b, c, and d. Proxima Centauri b, discovered in 2016, is larger than Earth, orbiting its star in 11 days. It's in the habitable zone, suggesting liquid water. Proxima c, found in 2019, orbits in five years but isn't in a habitable zone. Proxima Centauri d is debated due to its unusual size. Some argue it's not a proper planet, being a quarter of Earth's mass, orbiting every five days. Scientists think the signal from Proxima might come from Centauri b, more habitable than c. Despite high radiation, Centauri b's environment might foster complex organisms or life. Some scientists even speculated hosts biological life or extraterrestrials, possibly tied to the recent signal. Some scientists believe this unique signal is unprecedented, even beyond the Breakthrough Listen project. The team dubbed it BLC-1, marking the first significant discovery in the Breakthrough series. Since BLC-1, researchers have been intently focused on the Proxima system. They use a technique called pointing and nodding to adjust the telescope's position for optimal signal capture. Despite this, no similar signals like BLC-1 have emerged, excluding the possibility of randomness or human interference. This prompted further investigation to decipher the signal's meaning or potential extraterrestrial message. After exhaustive research, the scientists validated BLC-1's authenticity. However, 
Decoding poses challenges as the signal lacks modulations or analyzable features, merely consisting of a single note and tone. Yet, the signal's frequency has been observed to change your drift. Experts attribute this to planetary motion or an extraterrestrial source. Strangely, the frequency is increasing instead of decreasing as expected. Scientists are eagerly awaiting a repeat signal to enable follow-up research, aiming to confirm its techno-signature an indicator of biological or intelligent life. One of the closest analogs to BLC-1 is the famous WOW signal of 1977. Detected by Ohio State's Big Ear Radio Telescope, this enigmatic signal emerged from Sagittarius and lasted 72 seconds. Despite extensive searches, no other telescope has picked up a similar signal, leading many in the scientific community to speculate it could be of extraterrestrial origin. The WOW signal isn't the sole celestial puzzle. Fast radio bursts FRBs have baffled scientists for years. Initially observed in 2007 by the Parkes Telescope, these bursts were later discovered in our own galaxy, sparking curiosity about potential extragalactic travelers. Over time, additional FRBs were detected, with dispersion signals stretching over travel helping estimate distances. The newfound FRBs, lasting milliseconds, originated around 30,000 light years away, unexpectedly detected by the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2 Stair 2, which wasn't even searching for FRBs initially. Fast radio bursts FRBs, known as the most intense radio bursts originating from within the Milky Way, have become an exciting subject of study due to their proximity just 30,000 light years away. These bursts were first uncovered in 2007 by Duncan Lorimer and David Narkovich, who detected dispersed bursts originating on July 24, 2001. These brief flashes of radio light, lasting milliseconds or even microseconds, occur in vast numbers daily, with many originating billions of light years away. FRBs have ignited debates about their origins due to their extraordinary power and ability to traverse immense cosmic distances. One proposed source is neutron stars, remnants of supernovas, which can release electromagnetic radiation like X-rays. Pulsars, a specific type of neutron star, are known to emit such radiation. Alternative theories suggest white dwarfs and cosmic strings as potential origins for FRBs but none have been definitively proven. Intriguingly, the reduced distance to these bursts offers scientists a promising opportunity to unravel their mysteries and potentially shed light on their true nature.